Hey everyone. There is so much going on right now, and at the same time, like, nothing at all. Uh, things have been kind of chaotic lately in the world, so I wanted to make some art that was just, like, goofy and fun. I've had this piece hanging up in my bathroom since 2016, and I love it, but I want to paint it again. I've wanted to for a while now. The original piece I did with markers and watercolor, but this time I'm going to be using acrylics. It's a fun and like simple concept. It's just a skeleton taking a bubble bath with the phrase fresh to death. And art doesn't always have to be like serious or have a deeper meaning. And I just really like doing goofy stuff like this. Uh, before I started painting, I saw this ad on Instagram that had this bathroom with pink tiles. And I was like, I need to have that in my painting. That's super cute. So inspiration can come from the most common places. Um, I used a watercolor pencil to do a rough sketch and then did an ultramarine color wash on the whole background so there wouldn't be any white spots speaking through. I wanted to keep a really basic and bold color scheme for this and I wanted it to match the towels and my shower curtain in my bathroom now since that's where this piece is going to be hanging up afterwards. Lately I've been thinking a lot about what type of art I want to make and what types of places I could see it being and honestly it's been a really huge struggle for me to even figure that much out. Um, I really like doing painting, but drawing is really natural to me, and I like doing mixed media, and I like making videos and different forms of art, and I'm always looking to try new materials and new things. I started doing art full-time and working at my other job part-time in December. It's March now, um, and to be honest, I haven't really figured anything out. <laughs> um, the stress of making money definitely affects the type of art I make, but working full-time doesn't give me enough time to have energy left to work on art, so I kind of have this feeling of being stuck, and that's just been kind of like looming over my head for months now. There have been so many great things about having more time for art. I've been able to start bigger projects, try new materials, I've been taking more field trips, uh, I've got more focused on polishing my Etsy shop and really working on that a lot. I've had time set aside for learning more about the art industry and about marketing. I've had more time to learn about other artists I like and kind of what they do on an everyday basis and how they got to where they are. The worst thing is knowing that from a financial stance, I'm completely failing to make the money that I need to seriously consider this as a full-time career. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not trying to, but the lack of focus I have on a particular area of work is really holding me back from a lot of opportunities. Um, for example, if I were able to focus on just painting and just having work on canvas, I could, you know, try to get it in a gallery or have a show or sell it at an art fair or something, or if I focused all my time into Etsy, I could work on having more products and having regular releases and things like that. Um, I am focused on YouTube right now where I am trying to release a video every single week and I've been really good about that and I'm really proud of the content that I'm putting out. It's the type of content that I would want to see and that's kind of the whole point of making art or making anything is what do you not see in the world and what do you want to be seeing? Like that's kind of where you come in. I'm thinking about starting a Patreon to help me out with some kind of like steady income. Um, Etsy is really fun for me and I really love it, but that's always kind of changing and for the most part I'm just losing money on most of the products I make for it and it can't really just be a passion project that I am not really making money on for me to give it as much time as I do right now. I still have faith that I can make YouTube work and find a way to make more money off of that, but it's very challenging when I still want to keep my content um, genuine and keep it what I want to do and not what other people want to see or what will be popular. I've gotten I mean, a, a couple of sponsorship opportunities for like places to send me stuff and me to review it and all of it's just been like crap <laughs> and I don't really want to waste my time trying to show you guys stuff that I got just because I got it for free. Um, I really want to save my time and energy for 
sponsorships and brands and products that I would actually use or actually care about, nothing's really come up yet that has been that. So I'm just going to keep waiting and keep trying and hopefully something will come along that I find interesting enough or find cool enough that I would actually want to share with you guys and have be a sponsor on my channel. So I don't know, kind of holding out for that. Now that the world is kind of at this weird like standstill with everything going on right now, I really need to think about my future and my career as an artist. I'm really thankful for the people that do watch every video I post or leave nice comments on my Instagram. It really makes me feel like the work I'm doing is worth it and the art that I make should be shared with people and people do actually want to see it and care about it. I think every artist has issues with confidence of posting their stuff and seeing if anybody actually cares. So I'm going to keep trying at doing this as a career. Um, I'm not quitting yet. I've failed before and I'll fail again, but it's not going to stop me from trying. Um, this isn't even the first time I've started a YouTube channel. This is probably like my third or fourth attempt at it. And, you know, that's what like the popular people don't really talk about is how many times maybe they failed or maybe they got lucky and got it right the first time. But I definitely didn't get it right the first time. And I don't even know if this is the time that it's going to work out. And that's okay. I'm just trying to kind of take it one step at a time and see where it goes. I am like I said before, like very proud of the type of content I'm putting out right now, and I feel very good about it and like it's kind of coming along and I'm starting to see a voice in my videos come through. Um, it takes a while to kind of figure out, kind of share your personality online and try not to have everything be super tailored and have it be realistic without it being like depressing and not interesting, <laughs> so... I hope you find my videos interesting, and um, and that's why you're here, and that's why you're watching this. Thank you, as always, for your support and your kind words, your funny comments. Um, I hope you guys are hanging in there right now, and you can find something that makes you happy today. Please leave me a comment. I need the company right now and need the motivation right now, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, Maybe it's a comment about this painting, or a comment about my channel in general, or just what you did today. I don't know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.